Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of What Not To Render, where I hope you'll see your mistakes before you make them. In this example I've got a shopping cart. This is a model from GrabCAD from a user called Z Design Studio. I'll link in the description. And this is a lovely model of a shopping cart. But if I double click camera 2, you can see that it's also a lovely model of a shopping cart. And if I double click camera 3, it's still a lovely model of a shopping cart. But if you take a closer look at the back wheel and the back of the handle, you'll see that in this display they're nice and crisp. But in camera 1, they're quite blurry. Why is this? Well, my camera settings are exactly the same as you can see here. This is camera 1, and this is camera 3. The f-stop, which would normally define depth of field, is exactly the same. So what's going on? Well, all is revealed if I go to my perspective view. I'll pan around so you can see better, and right-click, center scene. As you can see, there are in fact three different cameras with three completely different models. Alt and right-click to zoom in. And I'm going to go back to my camera one by double-clicking and make sure the info is checked in display info in the viewport. Then I have to select the body of the shopping cart and I can see that my Y bounding box is 85 millimeters. How do I know this? Because this number is always in meters. And obviously a shopping cart is a lot bigger than 85 millimeters tall. So camera three, again, same thing, double-click it and select the body of the shopping cart. And now the Y bounding box of the shopping cart body is 8.5 meters. So this shopping cart is way too tall. But now if I go to camera 2 and select the body of this shopping cart, you can see that it's 0.85 meters, which is about right. So remember that scale is very important in Maxwell Render. You should be modeling to scale anyway, but make sure it is in Maxwell because your results will differ. That's it for what not to render this week. See you again soon.